Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, we will continue from where we left uh, in developing uh, this uh, particular project. It is a bungalow residential. And um, what I've done so far is uh, from the previous tutorial, I've uh, gone in to put uh, some of the components in. I've put some additional uh, windows around the building uh, where they should be. And then um, I have put some components in, like you can see these beds and then uh, some lounge chairs. Um, really, it's really to uh, sort of um, explore and investigate um, what is in uh, components. I'll, sh we'll, I'll quickly summarize um, how I've gotten to this stage, and that is really going to the home tab, go to um, go to components, which is there. If you click on it, um, I've loaded the uh, bed already, but as usual, if you go to its um, in load family, then if you go to furniture and then you see beds, that one there is what we've got. So if I just click OK and then it brings that in. So I've already done that, so I'll just cancel out. And uh, once you've got the bed and uh, you just click uh, the right, the size that you want, then you can begin to insert them. I'll put one here. And uh, if it's not facing the right way, all you need to do is uh, to uh, press your space bar and uh, it will change the direction until you get the direction you want and you just uh, insert it. So that's how, to, uh, how I've put uh, the beds in. Um, if I wanted to put um, uh, some, uh, say, let's put a dining chair, a uh, set of dining chairs there. If I go back again to components, um, load family, and then if I go to furniture and um, tables, you see where it says, um, uh, I think it's dining, isn't it? Um, if I scroll down until dining, yes, okay, that's dining. Um, there are two types there's the round uh, one, which is not what I'm look, really looking for, just the, rect uh, the rectangular one. That is okay. So if I uh, if I click open. Um, it loads it. It loads it on. Um, yeah, and then you just select the size that you want. I want uh, the six, uh, the one with six seats. So if I click on that, and then if I bring it in there, all I need to do to position it correctly is to press the space bar, and then you position it correctly. Then I just left mouse click. Uh, to put it in. If I do one more, uh, let's do plumbing, put a, a bath top there. So if I go to components, go to load family, and if I go to uh, uh, plumbing, architectural uh, fixtures, and if I bathtubs the first one there and that you can select whichever type that you want let's use that one um, and then just click open it loads it in there I think um, yeah that's it uh, 1600 Um if I oh sorry 1675 yep so if I use my uh, spacebar to position it correctly, um, one the other way. And there, and there it is. In the same way, I'll uh, use plumbing to uh, uh, to put the rest of the components in the bathroom and uh, water closet. What else? Um, I think I'll leave this here because obviously um, of uh, time again. Um, we've got a kitchen here. You would have to 
uh, go back in the look at case work and then populate this. I think you need to just play with it until you because that's the only way to sort of learn what is in there and that is uh, to uh, to play to play uh, around with it try different things uh, populate uh, these uh, rooms they can put televisions in there put um, uh, trees on the site um, until until uh, you actually uh, get what you're looking for in terms of um, uh, presenting it uh, we've uh, put um, used uh, we put some a floor, uh, floor on the outside just to set this building off. Um, which, if we look at our 3D, um, that's what it's currently looking at. We used uh, the floor command to do that, and uh, it's part of the training that we did. You can see how to use uh, floor uh, floor functions or use the floor for different functions including uh, the site so um, that is that is that if we go back to level 0 uh, for those of you who may not have understood um, the uh, the plumbing function again I will do it again um, so that uh, um, it is absolutely clear. So if I come back here and remove this and then uh, just uh, go through that process again so that uh, it is absolutely clear how you uh, can do that. But in general is really to sort of um, uh, play with um, uh, your components. I would like to explain a bit more the uh, some of the plumbing fixtures and uh, the site itself. So what I'll do is um, before uh, we move on, I'll just take these out um, that I have done uh, before. I'll just take that one, just click on it and delete. Take that one out and delete. And if I take the sites that we've created and uh, just delete that, and then I shall show you how we can put um, uh, uh, the plumbing back in there um, and then uh, put uh, the site uh, back in um, as we did in our training uh, using uh, uh, floor functions. If we're going to bath tubs, that should be fine. Okay. And uh, we use this to place our bath. You can see straight away there is uh, conflicting with um, that door. So I shall move that door, just click on it. You can use the remove command or you could just nudge it down. Um, by the way, what I've just done, I've just uh, clicked on it, put the mouse over it, that cross sign comes in, you can left mouse, uh, click, and then uh, shift. Once you see that um, uh, cross command, you can see that uh, it's uh, the same as that, so it means you're moving it, really. Um, should, should we do a bit more? Maybe go to components, uh, load family and uh, plumbing petrol fixtures if we do sinks mm. that's kitchen Bathroom, bathroom. Um, really, I mean, obviously, it depends on you. Um, if we can try, considerably try that one. Um, we'll place that wrongly. If I Delete that and then we'll do it again. Um, plumbing, just use your space, click your space bar, 
and uh, you can then uh, move against the wall. So you can use you can just really sort of do that and populate that. You can do the kitchen as well. Um, that's as far as we're going to go. I suppose um, for your assignment, if you just go try all the different um, components in the kitchen, try casework and uh, put fridges, whatever, just explore with, explore um, the uh, load family uh, part of components and then see what you can put in. Uh, you put in there. Uh, we'll go to 3D. Uh, that's the building as we've got it now. If I click on there and uh, just a minute bit so you can see what we're doing. Um, that's the building as we've got it now. Just to show it off a bit, I'll just go back here and then I'll just do floors just to show the site itself. Architecture floor, and uh, if I use a rectangle just so that we can see the site, or set it off against the site, or set the building off against the site, click and uh, a green check mark. Um, if you remember, apparently, you need to cut this through so that they don't conflict. We'll, I'll do that uh, outside this lecture, it's part of the lecture, uh, part of the uh, tutorials that we've done in the past, all I need to do is to uh, get the composition of this uh, correct. This is the wrong one. I need to go to, um, sorry, edit family and then change the composition. Uh, duplicate first, edit, change the composition, change it to tarmac and, um, and then obviously um, uh, sorry, I'll cancel out of that and then cut the shape of this out of it. That's what our. That's how um, I'll do it. So if we go back to 3D, uh, you can see that is um, the uh, the site that we've just installed, and um, that's the carport. That's the building there. So I think we will stop this um, tutorial here. Uh, the next um, tutorial we will look at uh, views uh, but for now um, let's stop this uh, here uh, because of uh, time constraints uh, you can see what we have done uh, so far in terms of this particular uh, in terms of the bungalow it's looking quite nice actually uh, a few corrections here and there. We need to go and check, make sure everything is all in its uh, proper place. These windows are turned the right way. Um, and uh, those are the things that uh, you can play with and uh, see and adjust and make sure they are suitable. So I'll summarize. Um, in this particular tutorial, we've uh, looked at, um, we did additional uh, doors, we've looked at uh, uh, floors again. And uh, we've um, uh, uh, put components uh, inside uh, the building. Uh, by all means, um, continue with the components. Uh, play, put a, uh, all, all uh, I mean, the site, you could conceivably put uh, trees around uh, this particular uh, building. Um, and uh, inside, do the kitchens as well. So just play with it. And then you just find that you begin to know where things are. Um, especially when you want to load additional components using uh, load family, and uh, we will stop this. Uh, we will we'll stop this uh, tutorial here, and I shall see you at the next tutorial when we will be looking at uh, views. Thank you.